Well, hello and welcome to this short exercise on ratio and proportion uh, with a bit of profit and loss thrown in. Now, this question is from uh, a past GCSE uh, exam question and therefore suitable for IGCSE and for high school math as well. And it says, Nita is making a foot Nita is making a fruit drink and she makes uh, mixes apple juice and mango juice in the ratio of 3 to 1 and that's going to be 3 to 1 by volume okay so that's going to be 3 to 1 by volume now and how much of each type of juice will she need to make one liter of the fruit drink so you give your answers in milliliters that's the first part and second part follows Apple juice costs uh, 0.56 pounds for a one liter carton and mango juice costs uh, 1.20 pounds for a one liter carton. Now a pack of 84 plastic cups with a volume of 250 milliliters each costs 1.00 pounds. Now Nita sells her fruit drink at a school concert in 250 milliliter cups for 0.60 pounds. She gives all the profit she made to the school fund. Nita makes 84 cups of fruit drinks and sells them all. And he says, how much money does she give to the school fund? Now, my starting point has got to be this one here, the ratio of 3 to 1. Because the ratio is 3 to 1, now there are 4 parts there, so 3 of three made of apple juice and 1 of mango juice. So we then have this here. Now, if we assume that this is a cross section of a cup uh, of drink, and this, the volume of this cup is 1,000 1, milliliters of drink or 1 liter. So each section, there are four sections, four equal sections, they must be equal, four equal sections, and each section is 250 milliliters. And apple juice occupies three of this section here. So if you multiply 250 by three, you get 750 milliliters. And to make up your, which is, to make up your one liter or 1000 milliliters, if you subtract 750 from uh, so if you subtract 750 from 1,000 milliliters, you get 250 milliliters. So our answer is going to be that a one liter of fruit drink is made up of 750 milliliters of apple and 250 milliliters of mango. Okay, moving on. Now each plastic cup has a capacity of 250 milliliters. Now, she buys 84 plastic cups, each with capacity of 250 milliliters. Now, we're going to assume that she, she sells all 84 cups of drink. And if you multiply 84 by 250, you should get uh, 2,100 milliliters of drink. And that will convert to 21 liters of drink. Now, not forgetting that each liter of drink contains uh, 750 or a three quarters of each liter of drink contains or, uh, uh, mango juice. So, moving on. Now, the volume of apple in the drink sold will be three quarters of 31 liters there. And you should get an answer of 15.75 liters there. Similarly, the if the volume of apple juice is 15.75 liters and we're looking for 21 liters so the volume of the mango juice in the drink is going to be 5.25 liters now because we require 15.75 liters of apple juice and the juice is sold in cartons we cannot buy a fraction of a carton therefore we require 16 cartons of apple juice 
and each carton costs uh, 0 0.56 pounds. So for 16 cartons, we're supposed to be paying 8.96 pounds. Similarly, for mango, we need six cartons because we cannot buy a fraction of a carton. So we need six cartons of mango juice. And each carton costs one pound, 1 1.20 pounds. So for six, we pay 7.20 pounds. So now don't forget that the 84 plastic cups cost one pound or 1.00 pounds. So our total cost is going to be uh, 8.96 for the apple juice, 7.20 for the mango juice and one pound for the plastic cups and that gives us a total of 17 pounds and 16 pence or 17.16 pounds. Now she sells uh, 84 cups at 0 0.60 pounds. So in effect, she then realizes uh, 48 pounds in total. Now our profit is going to be 48 minus 17.16. Uh, that gives us a profit of 30.84 pounds and that, that, that's what she donates to the school fund. Now I hope all that made some sense. Please, please subscribe and thank you for watching. Hopefully see you again sometime.